Hello from Southern Ontario, May 28th. So, because I'm having a ramble day on the channel, why not? To pick up on the theme of uh, the newcomers in the world looking at Canada as undeveloped. We have massive amounts of land undeveloped. It's true. 89% of it is crown land. Now let's look at that. We got to stop building and paving on the southern latitudes. Okay? Southern Ontario, the armpit of Canada. Some of the best farmland in the world. We got to stop paving over that. There's enough people here already, and whatever isn't paved over is pretty much farmland. Did all along the St. Lawrence Seaway. Uh, the southern prairie provinces. I mean, in they grow a lot of grain in southern Alberta. What do you got going way up north? Can't grow much up there. Ditto across the prairies. Lower mainland in British Columbia. Well, it's kind of like the armpit of Canada, Ontario. Pretty well paved over most of that. Anyways, we need to build housing. Desperately. We should have been on to it years ago, but we're where we're at now. My suggestion... If my hair cut was at the helm instead of the other fellow with the fancy socks, I'd be saying, okay, we got crown land. What's the biggest expense, or at least half? I'm just, I'm, some builder out there is going to argue with my figures. Half the cost is land, and the other half is to build the house. Oversimplification, I know, but yeah, okay. We take crown land, we build housing development on it. I'd suggest wartime type housing. Two, maybe three bedroom homes, little single story dwellings. I don't know if you recall, I can think of several wartime subdivisions that I've been familiar with, lived in, or nearby in my lifetime. They built little economical houses. People bought them, they came home from the war, they raised their families. They could dig a basement, they could add a second story. And it often happened. Over the last few years, a lot of the original housing may have been torn down and bigger homes built, whatever the case may be. That's what we need to do. Take our crown land. That slashes, I'm, again, I'm just pulling a figure out of my hat, half of the cost. Oh, the argument's going to be the government will mismanage the money, horrifically, because they always do. There'll be graft and corruption. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. We could eliminate that to some extent by doing it on a municipal level. Hmm. What would be a good example? Maybe in East Coast, one of the smaller cities. Well, there's a lot of bush around, right? So you go outside of, I don't know, say Halifax. Just pulling something out of the air here. You go out on the hillsides and you build five or 10,000 or 20,000 homes. The land's free. It's not really productive for anything. I mean, yeah, it has trees and we need trees, but the trees are there and that's what you build houses out of, right? This would make sense to me my way of thinking same in the northern prairie provinces where there isn't you know you can't really grow a lot of crops and or a lot of cattle I guess you could have a cricket factory if you're close Schwab but anyways I think you're picking up what I'm putting down a lot of people are gonna go oh, well that's why we populated the southern latitudes of, on, of Canada nobody wants to live up north well the southern latitudes are full you want the country to keep growing? You want to catch up to what the 8 million people? Well, that's how many we know have come in. It's probably more like 10 million. That's what's got to be done. we got to head north. How about a comprehensive plan? Yeah. Anyways, back to the municipal level. Let's say, just for example, and I'm not going to get into the nuts and bolts of it here, but you build that community that new little town outside of Halifax, whatever the case may be, a small city in one of the northern prairie provinces. 
the land is there, a lot of the resources are there. You put in one government bureaucrat, somebody's got to answer, right? To where the money comes from, which is going to have to come from a provincial or a federal level. But you elect everyone else, volunteers, builders, developers, tradesmen, accountants, all the people that go into a normal urban development situation, the people who have these skills. And a forensic study is done from start to finish, all right? Hypothetical, you built 10,000 homes outside of Halifax. When it's done, a forensic audit is done on the whole shooting match. See, picking up what I'm putting down here? This removes that gov government graft, corruption, outright thievery, right? Could be done. Won't be. But, well, it's a general ramble day. Let me know what you think in the comments.